Thank you, brothers and sisters. I'm a bit loud. Thank you for coming today. Me coming here as a refugee 23 years ago, it was just like yesterday. A young man, but still very young, and have melted into the Scottish community, a proud Scots now. When I say independence, you ask me that we fought for our country in Afghanistan for many, many years. I know how it feels when you have a country. I know how it feels when you have your own identity. And I know how it feels when you call a country home. And that home was taken from us in Afghanistan, you know, in many, many different wars. But now here in Scotland, we together, I think the biggest weakness right now is the division among us. We have to come united. If we want, if, if we want to have a future for our children and grandchildren, you will be responsible when your grandchild go to school and read your history he will blame you or she will blame you. That my grandfather did not fight enough for my country. So we have to come together and fight the imperialist policies. The policies that destroyed many, many countries around the world, brothers and sisters. You remember what happened in my country. 21 years of failed war by Britain and America and NATO. And after 23 years, you know, Boris Johnson ran away in the middle of the night, abandoned the people of Afghanistan. Brothers and sisters, when hundreds of thousands of people on the streets of Glasgow in Scotland, I remember in this park when we started, marching against the illegal war in Iraq, and we were saying, to the then war criminal, Tony Blair, that the war in Iraq was illegal. When the people of Scotland was telling Tony Blair and Bush that the war in Iraq is illegal and the people of Scotland will not take responsibility in Iraq. But we were told that the Scots don't matter. Brothers and sisters, we need to stay united, to have our future, when again, the Brexit, remember, when we were saying, the Scots were saying that we want, you know, to be part of Europe, we were told that you will die of hunger. We will die of hunger, but now we know that the people who destroyed our livelihood, our future generation, you know, the cost of living crisis, the, the energy crisis, the petrol crisis, the mortgage crisis, and it's you and me who are blamed not the Tories and not in others, and they have created these crises, brothers and sisters. One minute, brothers, for the last time. You know, I'm a refugee, and now currently we have a racist regime led by the Tories in this country, brothers and sisters, blaming, blaming refugees for their own failure, the failure on mortgage crisis, the cost of living crisis, the energy crisis, and everything is blamed on refugees. We are called the invaders. We are called the invaders, imagine. I tell you about an invasion when B-52 is, you know, flying on your head, killing your family and your children, you know, displacing millions of people. That is an invasion, brothers and sisters. And when we say that we welcome our brothers and sisters from Ukraine, but now if you're an Afghan, and if you are a product of the illegal war, if you are an Iraqi and you are a product of the illegal war, if you are a Libyan or Syrian or Yemeni, when you come to this country, brothers and sisters, you will be detained by the Tories and sent to Rwanda. So my appeal to everyone, brothers and sisters, in this country, in this city, please come together, fight for our future, for our children. On the 21st of May, we are going to protest you know, in front of uh, a hotel in Eskin, because the far right are protesting every day against the refugees. 
So I will ask everyone to join us on the 21st of May in Erskine to say no to the Nazi in Scotland. Scotland is a country which is welcoming, which welcomed me, my family and many, many others. God bless Scotland and long live Scotland. Thank you. Excellent.